Today for our show and tell, I would like to share with you our dear Sangi Sky Guardian's ophthalmologist's office. You might wonder, what on earth could be so special about an ophthalmologist's office? <laughs> well, you'll just have to see. So, we have a very unique show and tell today. And uh, allow me to bring it up to the screen so that we go through Dear Sky Guardian's ophthalmologist's office together. <laughs> Here we are. I haven't seen this, so this is going to be uh, a treat for both of us. So I thought this would be a pretty cool show and tell for um, Liam's uh, online sangha. Um, so for his show and tell, I decided to go to my ophthalmologist's office because his office is insane. Um, see oh my goodness. <laughs> We're not even in the office yet. <laughs> There's just so much to look at, you know? You could spend hours in here. Do you imagine having an appointment with your ophthalmologist and this is what you come and see? This is quite a test of your eyesight, that's for sure. This must have taken just years and years of collecting things. And I don't even know what the main theme is. Looks like there's, like there's crystals, clowns, some kind of stones. Lots of different kinds of art. Oh, Shri Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. He's right. I do really enjoy that. I think I can faintly hear circus music too, which is quite fitting. Not gonna lie, this is definitely overstimulating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I have an appointment. Yeah. I don't even know where the receptionist is. There's a ruby from India you see there. Uh -huh. You can see some uh, qualifications of the ophthalmologist just hidden. This is like the biggest game of, uh, of I Spy. Now you'll definitely, uh, you'll never run out of things to play with in this waiting room. So many different kinds of crystals. And there's, there's quotes around the room too, it seems. Yeah, if you're stuck waiting for your ophthalmologist, no problem. <laughs> I Spy with my little eye, something that is red. Well, you'll spend the next hour naming all the millions of red things around you. A labyrinth of curiosity. Well said, dear Magdalene. Lots to see. That's right, dear Isabella. Hi, Tweety. Well, oh, I see, I see Gummy. Forgot about him. Lots of different kinds of rocks. That's cool. Now this is a party. Right? You walk in here, your eyes and brain on our on overload. I'd get lost in here, even though it doesn't look very big. <laughs> There's definitely a lot to explore. Oh yeah, there is Radha Krishna. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Half the things, you know, I'd have to really just pause, but we'd be here forever doing that. Even the floor is covered. Do you want to say happy, um, happy Diwali for uh, today's Diwali too and uh, Indian holiday? Okay. Yeah. Hello, happy Diwali. <laughs> this is for my friend Liam and his online Sangha. Oh, uh. nice. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very wholesome. 
imagine accidentally tripping on your laces, says Roxy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Aww. I didn't even see her. Yeah, if you tripped in here, you'd take down the whole wall. <laughs> what is this? Did he say that was the bathroom? That's, that's interesting. Don't worry, I'm not gonna um, video record the... Uh... <laughs> and this is the bathroom. You even got a fancy sink. Look at that. Oh. Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Where is the light? You'll, you'll never find that, Vinay. <laughs> He's never going to find the light switch. That's the thing, if you lose anything in here, like if you drop your glasses or something, <laughs> you're never finding them. That's for sure. Did Sky Guardian ever make it out alive? That's a great question, Magdalene. That's right, this is his, his ophthalmologist. <laughs> Achieving a dream, what does that say? Did I skip too far? Achieving a dream It's a little bit cut, cut off Is about more than just what Something accomplishes But who you Something come in the process About the journey, not the destination How do they clean that place, right? Yeah A feather duster A bunch of seashells on the left I can see. Do Tai Chi, it says on the floor. <laughs> There's another quote. People have to really suffer before they can risk doing what they love. Wow. Now, this is a place that I'm not sure I would recommend taking a psychoactive substance. I think, uh, man, you're, you're already starting to see things sober. Can you imagine if you weren't? <laughs> Ooh. The songs of the birds were so pleasant that it seemed a man could never wish to leave the place. The flocks of parrots concealed the sun, and the birds were so numerous and of so many different kinds that it was wonderful. That's, that's a quote from Christopher Columbus. Oh, interesting. I would never have guessed that. This is a museum at this point, right? And you might even find mummified bodies of people who could never find their way out. Every day, do something you love. All different kinds of crystals. Imagine every day is carnival, the world spinning to samba, pounding in every corner of the earth. Wow. Right. The party's here, that's for sure. Even the ceiling. Oh my goodness. Is that a lobster? <laughs> I'm sitting on top of the world, just rolling along. Oh, I love that. That's right, Don Suela. <laughs> it is precisely the artificiality and the pointlessness of fashion that make it valuable as a vehicle for fantasy. What amazing quotes in here. We do anything to make you smile. If you want something now, you have to stop doing something old or new. If you want something new, you have to stop doing something old by Peter Drucker. A lot of time went into creating this space, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's from 
Jasper from Madagascar. Be wonder lustful. What does that say upside down? Exuber, exuberant. And my chat is covering it. Exuberant with every new thing you learn. Exuberate. That's a, that's a nice word. Lakshmi, ah, oh, it's her day today. Yeah, I went in the bathroom. I couldn't find the <laughs> lights, but I was like... <laughs> oh, so, okay, you have to do it from there, I guess? Uh, okay. She's cleaning today, and tomorrow, and the next, and the next. She found the light switch for us. Oh my goodness. Oh, poem. We have to read it. Mm. I think the reflection is covering a part of it, though. Ithaca, a poem by Constantine. Definitely starting to observe some themes. Clowns. Crystals. Seashells. Dolls. Oh, okay. This is where it was. I was like... <laughs> you found it. <laughs> <laughs> and some Hindu statues. Inspirational quotes. Feathers, street signs, hmm. celebrate life, life has to be given meaning since it ob, since it ob, <laughs> everything that's ob has to be given meaning. You wonder where do patients sit? I don't think they do. They just they just absorb themselves in the walls and they become part of the decoration. Wow. Life is precious. Cherish every minute. Climb every mountain. Ford every stream. Follow every something till you find your dream. Can you believe we're only 10 minutes in? <laughs> we're not even halfway through seeing everything. We're not even in the uh, the office yet. I think we're still in the waiting room. <laughs> what a fantastic place to have eyes. I agree, dear Donsuela. <laughs> Amaze at what washes ashore. Sunrise. Oh, what does that say? Conformity is the is the jailer of freedom and the enemy of growth. Wow. Yeah, this would change your life. Definitely. Exactly, Deanna. It's like a giant live I Spy book. You love it, Rhiannon? I'm happy to hear that. Just bursting with life. Right? This is a fractal. What did that say? Get out of the house. And bloom, dream, see things differently. While they were saying it could not be done, it was done. <laughs> I like that. I 
I see it, and it's even more wonderful than we'd ever imagined. Stated when King Tut's tomb was first opened. Wow. I'm even learning. I wonder what gave him this idea, you know? Clearly he had a vision. <laughs> this is where intrusive thoughts are born. <laughs> I think in this place, all thoughts are welcome. I just get that vibe, you know? Hmm. Alcohol, meat, stress, eggs, dairy, sugar, television, cholesterol. Those are the, uh, the rajasic and tamasic uh, foods and foods for the senses. Says eat fish. Well, no, as you know me, I uh, don't eat fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not sattvic. Dance. <laughs> you proves of Tai Chi. What did that say? Oh, I turned down the music instead of going back. Because the world keeps spinning. Round and round, and my heart's keep in time to the speed of sound. I was lost till I heard the drums, then I found my way. Because you can't stop the beat. I like that. Probably a song lyric. Fluorite. Used in the chemical industry since it is too soft for use as a gemstone. What a waste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he's got a lot of fluoride, it seems. It's got the name and location. Restroom in the woods. Hmm. I suppose there is a lot of room in the woods to rest. Top doctor. Mark W. Littman. I don't know how to pronounce that. MD. Top ophthalmologist. Top doctor. Oh, yeah. I think, I think Mark has made that uh, quite evident. Happiness is treasure hunting. Oh. Oh, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Oh, there's his um his biography. Doctor Mark W. Leitman is a highly respected ophthalmologist in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Hmm. Congratulations to Dr. Mark Leitman, Most Honored Doctors 2021, the Legacy Lifetime Achievement in Education. Not only does he have a great sense of uh, decor, great doctor too. I think he... This is an ophthalmologist that doesn't just care for your ordinary eyes, but cares for your third eye, too. <laughs> you'll definitely open your third eye here. Because <laughs> you'll run out of things to see with just your two. Oh, they're all from Rutgers University? Yeah, yeah. So this is... He made them bigger. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're from Rutgers. Nice. Yeah. That's so cool. That was years ago, though. Beautiful oh, flowers. Yeah. They're from Rutgers. Yeah. He, little brooches. He made it all by hand? Yeah. It's wow. A, oh, wow. A mirror there. Got it. That's a mirror? <laughs> yeah, he made it by How symbolic. All you can see is beautiful flowers. <laughs> yeah. And then his because that's what you are. That's 
He's got a picture of himself in the room, in the room. I like that. Pictures? Ah, yeah, we're, I'm we're meeting the, the man himself. Friends online. Um, he has a spiritual sangha, so it's gonna go on YouTube. So, yeah, and Happy Diwali. Um, uh, if you want to say Happy Diwali to his online spiritual audience. Sure. Happy Diwali. Oh, uh, have a good time. Enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy my offers. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, Happy oh, Diwali. Wait, what about that? Remember you used to do the lights or there's something here with the lights that I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. I, that was like 15 years ago I came and then it's been a long time since. I know. You know what's the truth? I don't do that anymore. Why is that? Because. Where is it? I don't even, I don't do that because I do other things. Let me just. <laughs> I don't do that because I do other tell things. Me other things to do. <laughs> He's right. There are so many other things to do. I don't even know so what the on, thing they're talking about can, is, but uh, you can search Yam Socks. Uh, his name is Liam, and so it'll be on his thing. Okay. Let me see one thing here. All right. <laughs> Let me see one thing here. I think there's more than one thing here. <laughs> Dance, hands in the sky. He reminds me of Ramdas. I have so much to tell patients about how to be healthy. That oh, this is extra. And, uh, you have any um, tips for his online audience on how to be healthy? Oh, a lot. The new thing, the biggest advance this year in medicine is that we learned that being obese, 42% of Americans are obese. And it causes as much cancer, obesity causes as much cancer as cigarette smoking. Oh, wow. And it's 42%. And even the children now sitting so much online, 20% of them are obese and they're getting cancer. And they sit four hours online. It's very unhealthy. Uh, the next generation, if they don't change what they're doing, they're going to be much sicker than us. And the other thing, on lowering blood pressure, which 80% of 70-year-olds have high blood pressure. And there's a way you can lower blood pressure. Everybody should be doing it. It's called isometrics. And there's an article. I'll give it to you, too. I'll give you the two articles. One All on right. obesity and cancer, All right. which is an epidemic. And it's really sad that people are killing themselves. And the other article is isometrics. Uh, isometrics is where you bear down. So I, I'll i show you. Hold it. Well, put it here. <laughs> isometrics. He's giving us the articles. You, almost like when you're constipated and you're bearing down. And even when you're sitting in a chair, if you push down towards mm -hmm. with your hand on the handlebar, on the handle of the chair and push down with your feet, you're bearing down. That's isometrics. You're not even moving. And the veins open up. Oh, wow. And the veins, it all, blood pressure always goes down. Got and it. there's 270 studies showing this. And yet almost nobody does. He's counted. The last woman from India does yoga. So she does it because when you do yoga, you're bearing down. Nice. But even if you squeeze your hands closed at the same time. Here's the key to it. And why internists don't even tell people to do it because they don't do it themselves. <laughs> what they should do is take your blood pressure at home before isometrics and after. And you'll see it goes down 10 points. And finally, it permanently stays down because the veins open up. And they permanently stay open. So I got my blood pressure now. It was always 132. It went down to 120. 
So at 78, I'm on no medicine. I wow. exercise three times a day. I do Tai Chi at night. And while I'm doing Tai Chi, I bear down. I squeeze my hands so the veins open up. And then the pre blood pressure always goes down. It's a okay. sure thing. Wow. So we watching 80% of people are on blood pressure pills at 70. So we know how to stop it. We know how the cancer is due to being obese most of the time, that and smoking. Okay. And now they're even saying artificial sweeteners can cause cancer, and so red meat isn't good because it has no fiber, it's not saturated fat, and it has uh, pesticides because it's high on the food chain. So as little red meat as possible, as much vegetables, get a good night's sleep, that's when you heal. And seven to eight hours every night. And exercise, I tell you, I do three times a day. And I weigh 130. Okay. Whereas the woman who left a few minutes ago was 237. She five foot tall. Oh, oh no. She's over 100 pounds more than me. And she's on all kinds of medicine. We're causing disease. And people are getting stupider. They're not really <laughs> He does not hold back. <laughs> I saw with two other news. And without knowledge, people are getting stupid. And you can see, and look, I, I can't understand for the life of me how people can the Trump. I don't understand. He's, he's an evil person. <laughs> no, he's getting political. <laughs> against everybody white Christian. And he's a dangerous man. He's in with Putin, for sure. Oh, wow. And he was got for when they were going to impeach him, they said, he said, oh, he said, I'm not in with Putin. Now he just sent them COVID kits to Putin. He denied he did it. And then he <laughs> so he's in with all the dictators of the world. And if we don't think we can lose our democracy, if he's in, he believes in dictatorship. So I'm watching how stupid the country, they're getting fat, sloppy, <laughs> This is uh, golden advice for us. I love that. So many things are happening. You come in, you're like, oh my goodness. So many things to look at. And you come in, he starts telling you some exercises, isometric exercises, Tai Chi. You know, make sure you have a healthy relationship with your body weight. And, uh, and then starts giving you a political lesson. <laughs> this guy is definitely zany. Liam's online sanga. This, this will be on YouTube. <laughs> Very good. And what is it? What, how do I look it up? Um, you can just go on YouTube and type in Yam Socks. Y A M. Hold it. What do I type? YouTube. And just um, type in Y A M. S O X. <laughs> wow. <laughs> His name's Liam. Well, if you're watching. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Love your office. <laughs> I think that'll be on. Today, probably. Ah. Yeah. Can you repeat this? Yeah. Uh, your... Yeah. Top doctor gave me the award three times in a row for number one ophthalmologist in New Jersey. And they just gave me, I'm supposed to get the plaque next week for... <laughs> it's a prescription to yam socks. That's funny, Don <laughs> He's probably too busy doing Tai Chi or other things. <laughs> He's got so many things to do, as he said. Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, wow. Because wow. I do a lot of research. And, mm -hmm. I pro and my book, the 11th edition of my textbook, that's number one in the world, is coming out in, in another month. Okay. The 11th edition. It's in nine languages. Nice. Probably will be printed in India. Oh, okay. Okay. Happy Diwali, by the way. Yeah, happy Diwali, yeah. Service for other people, like, right. you know, doing things for other people, that right. would, uh... So, on being happy, always popping up, is knowing what makes you happy, and what should, and almost always does make you happy, is when you do for others. So I told you, I haven't earned a penny here in three years. Wow. So I keep my brain active, I read a journal a day, and I'm always looking for new pictures for my book. And the 11th edition is coming out in, in another month. 
and I made a deal. I have 600 of the best photographs. I'm a collector, so I collected the best photographs. He's a collector. Over You'll never guess. And I made deals like with the University of Iowa. I won't make any profit on this book. Roxy says, I wouldn't have any money either if I had to keep collecting the universe. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to hear what he's saying. Let me go back 10 seconds. He won't make any profit on the book. I did that with big universities everywhere. So I never earned a penny from my book. But I give it out for free. I use the money that is generated to give out free textbooks to all the Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And I'm going to be doing that in another month or two. This goes perfect for uh, what Liam Sangha is, is all about this, actually. This is what he teaches. And so this is going to be perfect for his... Uh... Doing for others. So then, here. So one woman from Alberta, Canada emailed me two weeks mm, ago. That's where I was and born. She said, here's some corrections for your new book. And I changed it. I called the publisher and I put him in. She had like 20 corrections. And she says, you know, I'm graduating medical school and I loved your book. But I noticed there were some things that you could update. Oh, wow. Okay. So I updated it. But she says, you know what I think I may do is I may become a, 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 a writer for journals and evaluation of journals. So I saw in my journal this week some a fellowship in doing in doing uh, reading manuscripts for oh, journals. Wow. She emailed me back this morning, and she said, "Oh wow, that's exciting! That's what I want to spend my life doing." So I saw that in a journal that this company that's doing fellowships in manuscripts for medicine. Gotcha. And so I immediately sent it to her. I remember her saying, that's why she corrected my book. She loves doing that. And she sent me an email this morning saying, so what I do is I set the stage for doing good all the time, right? Wow. So and now I'm looking forward. I gave the book out to 150,000 students that are in the past, and I'm going to give it out another 150,000 at this time with the new edition. So then I look forward to all the letters from the university. <laughs> it's always setting the stage for something good to happen. And usually it's when you're doing something for somebody, you don't force yourself on someone. They, you gotta, they gotta want what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's it. And that's it. <laughs> what an amazing exploration of not only an office, but uh, quite quite a character and, and wisdom. Genuine, so much intelligence, clearly very smart man, and, and a lot of wisdom about happiness and doing things for others. I believe, um, if I just escape this, uh, Vinay had also sent in uh, some, <laughs> some, uh, some selfies. I think this is awesome. I mean, that could make an excellent profile picture. That is uh, Sky Guardian. Awesome. Well, thank you, dear Sky Guardian, for sending this in. And uh, thanks on behalf to Mark for allowing our Sangha to explore his office. <laughs> I think that's awesome. You know, I didn't expect for the the fourth wall to be broken so many times happened a couple times where it, you know this isn't just a a documentary we've got first reporter on the scene sky guardian so that was pretty cool <laughs> what an amazing show and tell i love that thank you thank you all for watching Sky Guardian is also amazing, such a lovely Sangi and friend to us all. Well said, dear Don Suela. I think he's uh, asleep right now, so he's not in the Sangha, but I'm sure he'll watch this. Thanks from Ushabai to Sky Guardian. Thanks from Angel. I would go cross-eyed in there, me too, dear Roxy. Mm -hmm. Thanks from dear Magdalene. 
Namaste.